30. Meanwhile, it is 7.33 here on Daybreak. A man who served 18 years in prison after being convicted of murdering his pregnant wife says he's innocent and new evidence proves it. Eddie Guilfoyle is now out of prison and says that diaries only just released by police suggest his wife Paula killed herself. It was one of the Northwest's most notorious murder cases. Eddie Guilfoyle was jailed for life in 1993 for murdering his wife Paula. She was eight and a half months pregnant when she was found hanged. A suicide note was found at their home in Upton on the Wirral, but prosecutors argued that Eddie had forced her to write the note, then faked her suicide. He was sentenced to 18 years. But there were doubts. Granada Tonight has had exclusive access to forensic reports which cast severe doubts over his conviction. Forensic experts who say it's ludicrous to suggest that Eddie could have killed Paula and it's likely that she did take her own life. Nevertheless, he lost two appeals and served out 18 years. Today, Eddie is free but still fighting to clear his name. Crucially for him, new evidence has come to light as it emerges that police have now handed over Mrs. Guilfoyle's diaries. They are alleged to show that she had suicidal thoughts. Eddie Guilfoyle has never stopped protesting his innocence. Is this his chance to finally prove it? Eddie joins us now along with his sister Sue Caddick. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Um, so, you were convicted of, of murder. <clears throat> Excuse me, lost two appeals, this evidence was never shown. Do you know why? Um, Merseyside Police, so far to date, have not gave us answers as to why they've withheld this evidence. Um, not only from the appeals, they've also withheld this evidence from the Criminal Case Review Commission, who've also looked at my case twice. Um, it's absolutely scandalous that not only did they withheld it, but as of today, they're still not answered why and who's responsible. Uh, we do have a statement from Merseyside Police regarding the handover of the diaries. They say uh, that they confirm that the force handed over a significant amount of material <coughs> from the investigation, but they say it would be inappropriate to comment on this case further as it's currently under review by the Criminal Case Review Commission. So uh, they can't comment That's at present as to why. That is a cop-out. Um, the Criminal Case Review Commission themselves have said it's not sub judice and they've not put a order on Merseyside Police to say that they can't speak about it. Merseyside Police should be answering the questions. 16 years they've had this. It's not um, a hard question. They've had it. It's up to them to e explain to me. I d I'm entitled to that explanation and explain to the public why they've held this evidence for 16 years. Why are you so convinced that this new evidence will clear your name? The contents of the box um, is damning. It destroys what the police have said. It goes right to the heart of the case, which is the um, psychology side of my wife. Um, and the, the fact that the police have withheld it and put forward a case which is totally different um, to what's in this box. OK. I mean, Sue, it must be very hard for you to have watched you know, your brother go through this. Um, has it been also incredibly frustrating? You've always believed he didn't do it, haven't you? Well, even this morning, sitting here with you, to say frustrating, I'm furious that a police force can sit on evidence mm. that proves somebody is innocent and not allow a jury in our country to hear that evidence or have sight of it. And to not comment is absolutely outrageous because they need to explain to the public why Merseyside police has hid evidence and kept a man in jail for as long as they have when they knew that evidence helped to prove he was innocent. It's outrageous. Well, they're clear that they can't comment because it's under review. That's their position. Thank you for speaking to us this morning. And um, I know it's been a long search to fight for you to clear your name, so uh, do keep us in touch with how your progress goes. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up for 20 to 8, still to come on the show. He was the first celebrity to leave the Big Brother house. We chatting.